We've seen recent gun violence in our churches, our schools, and our hospitals. Healthcare workers in Nebraska say they are increasingly becoming the target of violence, and it has to stop before any more tragedies like the one in Tulsa occur. KETV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki has their plea to keep the hospital place for healing, not horror. On Wednesday, a former patient kills four people, including two doctors and a receptionist at the St. Francis Hospital in Tulsa. This was a horrifying tragedy that should not have happened at any hospital in America. But those who work in Nebraska hospitals say they see hostility and violence almost every day. It ranges from verbal abuse, physical aggression to actual physical assault. Dr. Lisa Vale is the system chief nursing officer at Bryan Health in Lincoln. She believes some of the anger is fueled by the pandemic and polarization over masking, vaccination and visitation requirements. Now people walk through the front door and they're angry. Um, we've actually had our volunteers at the front desk physically assaulted. She joined health professionals from across the state on this national day to end violence in hospitals. It's scary. It's scary seeing these things happen. Alex Wilkerson of Great Plains Health in North Platte says their hospital put in bulletproof doors and windows and staff have a gray button they wear to call for added help. We recently in the ER had um, a, a patient get tased twice by law enforcement. A nurse was assaulted. They say nationally health care workers are five times more likely to face workplace violence. And we have to take a stance against it. Um, healthcare workers are leaving the field at astronomical rates. Nicole Thorell of Lexington Regional Health says everyone can help by showing a little grace and compassion in these turbulent times. That's at home, that's at the gas station, that's at the grocery store. Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.